What are you eating? I call this turf and turf. It's a 16-ounce T-bone and a 24-ounce porterhouse. How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Veron Tall Guy. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me, and of course, let's get started. On today's video, I'm not gonna be working on any vehicles. Wow, that's a big surprise. Today, I'm actually gonna create a chicken roost for my chickens right here. We, uh, we recently got these uh, chickens, so I'm extremely new when it comes to taking care of chickens and providing them with the stuff that they need. Uh, so far, if you take a look at this, this is a chicken run that we created or we bought. We have the uh, chicken coop over there, which is nice, which it's, uh, it's plenty enough room for all my chickens right here. We also have a station right here where they can eat and uh, drink. And so far, this has been working perfectly fine for us. If I, if I notice that the home is too small later in the future, then of course I'm gonna go ahead and expand it or buy another chicken coop and kind of combine them together uh, to fit all my girls right here. But so far, it looks like they've been behaving and they only sleep in there. Um, and so it, it honestly doesn't bother them and there's there's enough uh, nesting boxes for them as well So that's fine. So on today's video I, I decided I'm gonna do a chicken roost so I could put right here So my girls can uh, rest and get some Sun and stay away from the ground if they want to Honestly, I think it's super simple. I honestly never worked with wood before uh, But I do have a lot of scrap wood So I'm just gonna make something up and I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and sturdy for my girls here so that they're safe and it doesn't collapse or kill them. Isn't that right, little one? All right, so this is all the scrap wood I was able to find in my garage that I think should be enough uh, for the chicken roost. If we take a look over here, this is where they're gonna be standing or sitting on. All right, so I think this piece of timber is perfect for them to be sitting on and standing on. Just, I believe is is the perfect thickness and length. Um, and also, if you look over here, the two uh, edges has been uh, rounded off, so it's nice and satisfying to sit on. Um, this part right here, these two, is too sharp or too hard. On this side, it's nice and soft, so I think this is perfect, perfect. And once again, I think the thickness is just about right for their claws and their, their, their feet. And of course, I have these two 2 by 4s here that I'm going to use just to stabilize the... Um, this rod and next I found these two uh, planks here that I'm gonna use so basically I'm gonna use this so we can keep this balance beam above ground because chickens like being above ground so we're gonna basically do something like this once again it's pretty simple straightforward and it didn't cost me anything all this uh, timber I found in my garage laying down these two planks I found it rotting away in the side of the house near the uh, grill so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use everything here, make it simple, and I believe it should be strong enough to withstand their chicken abuse with them jumping and scratching and also the rain and snow and element stuff. So this should be good. Um, I was thinking right here just put three wood screws here i think that should be strong enough on both ends now as for this i can either drive a screw down here and i, I could be done with it but i was thinking if i can make like a notch right here and actually have this sit down in here i think that's way better uh, because i can just um I, I can build it and also take it down extremely fast especially if i decided you know that area over there is not going to be good enough maybe because there's so much sunlight or whatever i can instead of undoing the screws and, and everything like that if i can just have a notch here and have this rest in it'd be way better and of course if i have it deep enough then it's impossible for the chickens to tip this over and get this uh this beam out of out of the socket so that's what I'm gonna do and then uh, we're gonna put it in and see if the girls like it if they don't then we uh, try something else once again I'm extremely new to this chicken life so uh, if you have any comments any criticism any tip or advice on how to raise chickens uh, let me know down in the comments below all right all right so I got the plank on the cutting board here I went in clamping down just so I can keep it uh, stationary now, as I mentioned, I really don't work with wood. I'm mostly a mechanic, uh, but I'm gonna try my best. So we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, measure out one and a half inches here, one and a half inches here, one and a half inches here to make the, uh, the slot for that uh, balance beam right there. So I think that's simple enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it with a regular ruler, get that measured out, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. All 
right, so that part is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the two by four and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw it on to this planks in the bottom right here. And then we should be all set. Pretty simple, as I mentioned. Once again, I'm not a woodworker, so I don't really own that much tools when it comes to uh, wood and stuff like that. So of course, if you guys have better tools, you guys can definitely do a better job than I can. All right, so I got this stand completed. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take all this and we're gonna go inside the chicken run and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it. Then we're gonna give it to the chickens and see if they like it or not. Set that one right there. You guys are curious, aren't you? And you pooped. All right, excuse me ladies, get out of the way. I know you're scared, I know. I'll put that one right there. Last piece. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect it. Actually, I'm gonna give it a little more extra on this side in case you wanna sit right here. You never know. All right, and there we go. What I didn't notice is that the, at this hour, the sun is high noon, so it's right up here. Um, after a couple of uh, hours, it's gonna start moving that way, meaning this shade is gonna go this way, so they should have shade. I was planning to put it on this side right here, but I noticed that uh, this long timber right here is too long for this, for, for this way, so I have to put it this way. It shouldn't be that bad. Also, winter is coming, so I think they will enjoy the extra sunlight sitting there. Um, especially because we get really cold winters here. I love this design because I can simply um, disassemble it really quick and take it out of here if I need to modify it or if I need to uh, sand it down or paint it later in the future. I can definitely just disassemble it and take it right out, no problem. As of right now, I'm gonna leave it how it is. I'm gonna give it a few days and see how it stands. If it needs to be stabilized a different way, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But other than that, I think it's good. I'm gonna give it a couple of uh, minutes. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here and let the girls explore and see if they like it. Also, by the way, these stands are level. They're nice and straight. Uh, the camera is making it look crooked just because I got the uh, fish eye effect happening. So everything is curved. But yes, the, stand, the two stands are nice and straight. I made sure of it. Also, in case you guys are wondering, if you think this is too tall for the chickens, it's not really that tall because I've seen these girls fly on top of the roof of their coop and also uh, this smaller chicken run here. So this height should be perfectly fine. There we go. You got one. Oh, there goes the second one. Come on. And once again, I think the balance beam that they're standing on is just the right size for their claws and feet. And I love how it's nice and sanded and the edges are rounded off, so it should be extra comfortable for them. There goes another one. I think they like it, because if they didn't, they would jump right off if it, if it was hurting them or if they felt that it wasn't sturdy. There goes the other one. So I think mission accomplished. They definitely love it. And once again, it didn't cost me nothing. It probably cost me $10 for the screws just, just because I didn't have long enough screws. So I got extra screws from Home Depot. But yeah, overall, basically, if you have all the tools and all the scrap wood, you can definitely do this for free. There's people online selling chicken uh, roost uh, stands and stuff like that for like $100, $200. So honestly, if you can make one yourself, it's way cheaper. Now, as I mentioned, this area is gonna get shade in a couple of uh, in, a, in a couple of hours. I think like in two hours or less. For right now, it's high noon, um, but I have this tarp right here. So once the sun starts setting more to the west side, uh, this area is gonna be shaded. So they sh it should be fine for them. If not, I can always move uh, the tarp over if I have to to make it uh, more pleasing for these chickens. But I, as I mentioned, winter is coming and it's gonna get really cold. So I think they're gonna enjoy sitting here in the sun when it's, when it's like 10 degrees outside. Especially because they'll be away from the snow and everything because we get a lot of snow. 
All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Let me know if this is a good idea. If, there, if you see any flaws, let me know down in the comments below. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. Let me know if you like it, drop a comment, share, like, and subscribe. And as always guys, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya, bye-bye.